Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to Q&A Sunday. I know we're only eight episodes in and I should be at like episode 15, but I've been very busy, man. I've been going on trips, I've been working, I've been trying to prepare for trips that I got coming up such as E3, and I've been a busy man. But I know what you guys want. You want me to answer these questions. I know you guys want me to do stupid challenges. So we're gonna hop right into it, man. I'm not gonna waste no time explaining on, you know, anything further on why I didn't do Q&A Sundays. Just know they're back. Let's get it. All right, question number one comes from swag.q. He wants to know if you can make a living off of YouTube. Now there's a big misconception with YouTube. A lot of people think that they see bigger YouTubers do it and they don't have regular jobs and they live lavish lifestyles. People only show you what they wanna show you. A lot of people won't show you that they're in debt, they haven't paid their car note in two months. If you're not already a big YouTuber, I would expect someone such as somebody with like 2,000 to 5,000 subs, build up your catalog, build your video catalog, start making reoccurring money off of that account. And once you get somewhere around 2,050 to a million subscribers, that's when you can start making decisions on actually living off of YouTube. You have to get a ton of views in order to live off YouTube. I don't live off YouTube. I have another job as well. And you guys already know that if you watch my previous Q&A videos, I work at the airport. Now at the airport, I make good money. I pay all of my bills. YouTube, I use that money to buy iPads and mics and cameras and gaming stuff. That's what I use YouTube money for. All right, this is an off the wall question. Bryce Green wants to know, who is my favorite wrestler of all time? If you smell what the rock is cooking. Hold up. Boy, don't make, don't. You know what, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a rock fan, my bad. Okay, uh, this guy's name is Frederick Adutwum, I guess. He wants me to explain my tattoos in depth. Well, what I can do for him is uh, I could just basically go over them. Uh, first tat is my girlfriend and my son. It says John Taya and David within a star and a ribbon. Uh, this one right here says D. Carter. You guys know that's my name. Uh, this one says family and it goes with this one right here, which is uh, forever. So it's forever family, I guess. Uh, this one is I am what I am. I got this tat because of Allen Iverson. Big fan, big fan. Uh, on my wrist, on the insides of my wrist, I have two Bible verses, Philippians 4.13 and Psalm 23.6. Uh, on the outsides of my wrist, I have a cross connected in barbed wire to the verse. And I have another one on this wrist, uh, open Bible connected by barbed wire to the other verse. Uh, let's see. On this arm, my forearm, on the outside, I have the half of the poem that uh, Tito Ortiz said and Coach Carter. So that's why right here, it says, uh, Coach Carter, this did get injured. Uh, one day I was doing something stupid and I hit my elbow on something to scratch like a little bit of the tat off, but it healed pretty nice. On this one, I have Galatians 6.17 right here. Uh, that's another verse. Right here, I have a Superman symbol. Everybody knows I'm a big Superman fan. And I have, with power comes great responsibility. Everybody knows that that's like a Spider-Man thing, but... I just decided to go with that for Superman. And I think that I went over all the tats that I have currently. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna be getting sleeves or not, maybe, who knows. Now that I've answered all those questions from YouTube, it's time to jump over to Twitter. Let's go. Oh my God, the names. Um, Yeshua Peralta, I guess that's how you say his name or her name. They want to give my thoughts on what my career should be like in NBA 2K16. Now, they did use the hashtag AskIKC, so I have to answer. Basically, what I want from my career is I want a dope storyline that has a five-year span. I don't want a storyline that's a year long and then it just repeats itself every year. You know, I've been called a rookie for three seasons straight. I'm tired of being called rook, my man. Call me a sophomore, call me a junior, call me a senior in the league. Don't call me no rook for three years. It just doesn't make sense. 
uh, as well as for the gameplay, you guys have seen my NBA 2K16 wish list, am I right? If you haven't seen my wish list, you might want to go check it out. The link may be inside the description. I've laid it all out about my career gameplay, animation, storyline, the whole nine. I even talked about my park in a wreck. So if you guys haven't seen my wish list, you're missing out. All right, Hicks and Nick wants to know, who do you think the biggest threat to the Warriors will be in the playoffs and who do you see in the finals? Well, seeing as though that Golden State Warriors are obliterating Houston right now, they aren't a challenge, bang, bang. But uh, I think that Cleveland may give them a run for their money. LeBron does not go down without a fight. Me personally, I had the Hawks going to the finals, you know, <laughs> stupid me, bang. But, you know, seeing Cleveland and Golden State in the finals, that'll be a challenge, but I still got Golden State, man. They, they are a team that adjusts to anything. They're playing up against the biggest center in the league and making him look soft. Okay, granted, some people may say he's soft, but they're still making him look soft. Runner-up MVP, making him look bad out there. They made Memphis look bad after a few games. A lot of people say, oh my God, oh my, no, no, Memphis might knock him off. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, Warriors in the finals. Oh, okay. So this dude, uh, Oliver Stone 14, wants to know if I can dunk. And he wants me to show y'all. Well, he don't know about me? Back comes Carter. Here's Carter putting up. <laughs> Out top to Carter. Shot clock, chip clock, chip clock. Nigga! That partner goes soaring down the lane. All right, you guys, that's all the questions that I can answer from Twitter right now, man. Let's hop over to these voicemails, yo. Uh, I thought King Carter. Uh, this is Jordan Morales. I'm one of your subs. Uh, I just wanted to let you know how tall are you? Uh, I'm five foot three. Uh, I'm one of your subs. All right, so he wants to know how tall I am and how old I am. First of all, you never ask a man his age. Okay, I'm lying. I'm 27 years old, all right, 27. I know that may seem old to you guys, but that's just me getting a lint off my shoulders, man. You know, I'm allowed to wear button-ups. I'm of age, all right? <laughs> and as for height, I am 6'3", if you feel what I mean, 6'3", beast. Now I'm playing, um, I'm about six foot and a half to six one. I mean, the half though, like, I mean, it depends on what type of shoes I wear, you know what I'm saying? If I got my Vans on, I might be six and a half. If I wear maybe my Nikes, I might be six one. But yo, when I throw the polo boots on, yeah. Oh, I'm six three, yo, you got me fucked. I'm six three. Nigga, don't make me put my boots on right now. Yeah, this all tippy toe work, nigga ballet you ain't know i was in a the ballet them calves is strong yo i can see yo what up bro it's your boy jay yo son why you never come on the stage man hit me up later okay jay i got something to tell you my good brother when it come to me spending my money on this vc i am cheap as shit N nigga I'm cheaper than the toilet paper I buy for my kids to wipe they butt. I'm all the way cheap. Now on the stage, that's a different level. My dude 6'4", them dude 7'3". Like my man Chase said, he went to the park and seen Olympian gods out there. Everybody's taller than me. Everybody's shooting threes and my defense would not matter when this bread is on the line. So yeah, when it comes to the stage, I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie, I am scared. But nah, real rap, I go to the stage as long as somebody pay me some money to go. <laughs> Yo, what up, I'm a big fan. Uh, my question is, do you play any sports? Yeah, well, when it comes to playing sports at this age, 
All I play is recreational basketball. That means I take my butt to the courts, shoot a couple hoops, run up and down the court a few times, play a rough house, and I'm done. I'm too old to be playing basketball on a daily basis, man. My knees ain't good no more. Nah, real rap though, I'm the LeBron of Upper Darby, bruh. I'm the LeBron of Drexel Hill, bruh. I'm the LeBron of Springfield, bruh. I'm the LeBron of Chester, bruh. When I go to Philly, I'm Paul George, though. You know what I'm saying? I act like I, you know, fake an injury and I'm out for a season. Yeah, man, I can't, I can't be playing in leagues, man. Look, quick story. We got a league at the airport, right? It's called Us League, Basketball League, you know what I'm saying, for US Airways Express. And these dudes have NBA bound players, dudes that just came home from overseas, and they don't even work for the airport. I swear to God, I say, yeah, let me get on the team. I go in the gym, I, I, you know, you're supposed to have your badge, like your badge is proof that you work for the airport and that you can play. I put my badge, I put it on the table, they're like, what's that? I was like, my badge, like you gotta have one of these joints to play, right? They was like, nah. I'm like, what? And then I look across and at the other team, and it looked like I was looking at the Monstars. The point guard was 6'5". I'ma just leave it at that. The point guard was 6'5". Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys had an amazing time for Q&A Sunday. I had a blast, man. I hope you guys like some of them funny clips I had in there, man. Look, I'm letting y'all know now, man. I'm gonna give y'all the background on this NBA 2K15 in real life series that I'm thinking about putting out. I've ordered a lot of equipment, a lot of gear for this actual thing to go down. I'm gonna start getting actors. I'm gonna start, you know, hollering at some of my friends from work, seeing them they could do a couple things as well as fly out to different cities and get in it in with other YouTubers, you know, like my boy X Chase Money. I hit him up about it. I hit up Waza Now about it. I'm just gonna be hitting up every person that play 2K, man, to see if I can fly to your city. We can get a couple games in on the court or whatever. I record them and we do our thing. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna give you guys more details on the NBA in real life series real soon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just to let you guys know, it's all about my part, by the way. You know, it ain't me at the courts playing five on five with randoms. It ain't gonna be nothing like that. It's gonna be all skits, all funny. And we're going to get it popping, man. I promise. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be the funniest thing y'all seen in a while, man. But I'm out of here, man. You know, let me give you guys a side profile real quick before I get up out of here. I hope y'all chilling, man. I'm out.